In your first alert forecast, it is an overall very warm day. We're closer to the normal high this morning. We're blanketed in these warm clouds. We do have some stray rain trying to pop up. You see a little speck there. I paused it around six to seven. See a couple little specks of rain popping up along the plateau, dragging along the Tennessee Kentucky line to start the day. So really all in all this morning, a light rain jacket, not even anything that would uh, keep you too warm, especially for the kids staying around at the bus stop or those of you who work outdoors because we do really have a very warm day ahead. Just more clouds this morning, more 60s or again more of a normal high for this time of year to kick off the day. Get a taste of summer today as we crank up to 80s. In fact, I do think we could easily tie the record high for Knoxville. Maybe we'll break it. We're forecasting a tie though. We're going from 69 degrees at 8 again, warming up quickly 80 at noon high today 87. Gusts up to 30 miles per hour, helping to move that warmth in. Does give us a few cloud breaks for the afternoon and then some isolated rain and storms this evening. So at that in between where we really are working on more mostly cloudy to partly cloudy views, I've customized this so you can better see high clouds versus some lower thicker clouds, which is why you'll see some more afternoon sun and we all feel that building warmth to 87 Madisonville and Knoxville and Kingston forecast where you live 88 Loudon to 80 and Jamestown topping out around 83 La Follette to Williamsburg and Middlesbrough sharing that warmth here 85 Rutledge to 86 in Dandridge and Townsend. It's obviously a very warm Wednesday. Continuing with that first alert future cast again, partly cloudy becomes mostly cloudy again. There's some isolated rain starting to pop up this evening as those storms get a little closer. Still pretty spotty in terms of our area around 10 to 11, but starting to reach out into more of the plateau early, early morning tomorrow, trying to reach further east. The key here is as we've been talking about this front still on track to stall out and break up. So what it's doing is it's trying to reach out to parts of the valley, reach really into more of the consistent rainfall plateau to the Tennessee Kentucky line in the morning and graze the central valley. So notice we have about a 60% coverage of our area first thing in the morning into the mid to late morning as well. Some rain, but then it's continuing to break up more widely scattered in the afternoon. Here's another batch of rain and some rumbles of thunder trying to cut through our area, continuing to decrease in intensity. This will cause the temperatures to knock around a bit during the day, upper 60s to to around 70. Let me add up that rainfall for your Thursday again as that front moves in or at least tries to really move through our area. That's why we end up with more of a 10th to a third of an inch of rainfall valley and east, but then you get that half to one inch and even isolated higher amounts on the plateau to the Tennessee Kentucky line. Again, fronts moving in and breaking up, but stalling in the region as a whole, which is why it's going to help to send up some more rain on Friday, especially valley south to central valley foothills and mountains to far northeast Tennessee. So think of that as kind of clipping our area. So it'll be rainy for that part of our area, 40%. But then we're looking at more scattered showers throughout the day on Saturday, so a little lighter. This is that front stalling out, leaving us in the 50s for highs both Friday and Saturday. But at least the sky clears and temperatures rebound nicely for Easter Sunday.